Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you my uh, snow plow strobe light setup that uh, I'm going to put on this truck. I'm calling it the ultimate uh, snow plow strobe setup here. And uh, I got a bunch of help from uh, Speed Tech Lights, so I appreciate uh, Andrew uh, working with me on this. Um, their lights are awesome guys. If, if you don't know about Speed Tech Lights, I'm going to have links. Uh, go check them out. They have really good lights at really good prices. And not only that, but they have really good people there. So if you have trouble with anything, I mean they are email, phone call away, and um, you know they'll, they'll fix it if they did something wrong. So with that being said, um, I've got everything laid out here that I plan on using uh, for my install, uh, except for some extension harnesses. I don't have them up here. But um, anyway, I guess we'll start with uh, the, the main piece here, which is the, the micro 21 inch uh, light bar. Uh, this is in, um, this is the TIR model. All these are in the TIR. And then uh, with this, uh, I've got the grand control box they sent and then uh, you can actually uh, plug this thing into uh, I guess a cigarette lighter uh, it uh, must not draw that much power but I'm gonna run this uh, I've got an extension because I gotta run it uh, underneath the truck and then into the into the cab so I got an extension for this and then um, like I said the, the grand control box um, I'll, I'll, I'll go through these lights once I show you what I got. I'll actually turn these things on. I've been playing with them off camera, having a little fun. Um, they sent some uh, license plate, plate brackets here. And that's a really good way to get lights on your vehicle uh, if you don't want to drill holes all over the place. Uh, the front there, my, my license plate is too low. Uh, it's angled down. But most vehicles have a license plate that is straight and, and you know level so you can uh, use the, the license plate as a uh, place to mount some lights. I may use these on the rear. Uh, I have another idea I might go with but I may use this on the rear bumper. A uh, really good way to, to get lights without having to drill holes. Um, I've got, uh, they sent some of their uh, the Z4s and this is their new uh, Z4s. It's not their old generation. And uh, let me tell you, this thing is bright. I mean, I, I turned it on and I blind myself with it. So um, I got four of those. Um, I was thinking uh, two in the back, two up front. We'll, we'll see about that. Um, nothing set in stone here. Uh, this may change by the time I get to the install. But um, I do have... Uh, a few of their old uh, Z3s that um, I might use. Um, you can see they're, they're, they're quite a bit smaller. Um, and actually that's a linear one. But I may end up using that one. I got an idea maybe for them. Um, and then uh, these are not uh, speed tech, but I've got some amber uh, lights that I'm going to put on the rack. These are going to shoot off to the side. Um, you guys haven't seen these yet, but those amber lights in the bumper are awesome for snow plowing. I used them on our very first uh, snow we got, and they shoot off to the side, and them things are just, I mean, they're awesome. They're, it's, it couldn't have been any more perfect uh, for snow plowing. So um, I really, really like the amber color, so that's why I've got these. Um, in amber. And then uh, finally guys from Speed Tech Lights uh, I've got the um, what do they call these? The, the uh, Scepter X and I believe these are 60 inch. Um, they're made for like uh, uh, your running board which is where I'm going to put them. But I mean you could put them anywhere on the side of anything. Uh, you might even be able to put them on the back of something. Uh, but I got two of these 
like I said, they're 60 inches. Uh, they have another one where they have more lights in them, but I thought this was enough for, for what I'm doing. Uh, these actually have the super takedowns too. And again, I'll show you the, the functions of these. So I can turn all these lights clear, which is really cool uh, feature. Uh, I guess for anybody working at night, you can get some light off to the side of you uh, if you're not using the, the, the warning function. So it's like a, you know, it's like a, it, you install one light and you got multiple functions, which I love that. Uh, these come with all kinds of mounting brackets and, and little screws to, to get them mounted. Um, I'll probably have to modify that to, to get mine mounted the way I want, but they send you brackets and you can do whatever you want to get them installed. And then uh, here to control all this, I actually found this control box and this will run eight lights. This is actually from Oxbeam. Um, I, I'll link that too. I'll, I'll link all the stuff that I'm using here, guys. Um, it'll, it'll control eight lights and it's got relays and stuff already inside this uh, fuse box. And you got one wire that runs uh, through the firewall into the cab. Uh, this, this right here is under the, uh, in the engine bay and you connect it to one power cable. And it's just a really neat way to be able to run a bunch of lights without having to run all kinds of different switches like I've done in the past. So I think that's really going to be neat uh, to uh, control all these lights. Okay guys, so I'm giving you a rundown of what I've got. Uh, now let's, uh, I guess, show this stuff in a little more uh, in-depth. So here's my uh, mini light bar here, and it comes with the grand uh, control box. And turn it on here. It's actually on the the pattern that runs through all the patterns. But um, anyway, you can turn it on. You can turn it off. Um, you can change the pattern. It's got a pattern button here. Um, it's got an auxiliary button here, and that is going to allow you to run another set of lights or um, I guess uh, I forget how many amps it'll handle, but you can run you can run some uh, some other lights off that uh, switch. Then they got a takedown switch, and you can see they uh, it turns the side ones uh, uh, st on steady burn, and uh, you can get uh, this light with an optional uh, 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 takedown lights that are actually clear that shine off to the side and that uh, um, it gives you a little bit of light not it's not a ton of light but it gives you a little bit of light um, off to the side if you uh, add that option to this bar this is just like um, you know all the other bars that uh, I've shown you on here guys so um, been really happy with these this is a little smaller one than what was on my other truck uh, this is the exact same one uh, that was on my dad's truck, except for this is in TIR. So, uh, should make for a nice light bar. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the uh, Z4s uh, that they sent. We'll turn it on here. This thing is super bright, guys. Um, I mean, just I just blinded myself again with it. Uh, super bright. Um, so there's a bunch of wires that uh, come off this, and I've got the reason it's going on and off is I one of these connections isn't very good. I think it was the ground there. But anyway, you got a bunch of uh, cables coming out of it. Uh, you change the uh, pattern with these. So. Uh, just like any strobe light guys, you can change the pattern on these. And um, you can uh, sync these up. I think you can, uh, you can sync them up when you get all the patterns. Um, if you want to alternate sync, um, I think there's uh, only three patterns on that. But um, yeah, these are, these are, these things are so bright. I mean, they're just blinding me as I'm, as I'm looking at them. But yeah, these are really nice guys. Blinded myself again. I gotta shut that off. So, 
Really nice lights, little lights, they pack a real punch. So here I have two of the Z4s uh, synced. Um, and I've actually got one, I guess you would say, upside down. So it gives kind of an um, alternating sync pattern without, uh, without being in the alternating uh, pattern setting. But anyway, I'm probably gonna uh, install it on the truck this way. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about uh, the wiring or the syncing or flash patterns, guys. Uh, Speed Tech has really good videos showing you how to do all those things, so I don't feel it's um, I feel it's a waste of time to try to redo those videos because they do a really good job. So if you're interested in any of these lights, how to sync, how to uh, the, what the wires do, um, they are on YouTube and on their website with each light, uh, they have a little a video section to show all the features of the lights. Okay, so the final light I wanna show you um, is the uh, Scepter X with the super takedowns. And I just got uh, power and ground here, and I've, I've got these synced up. So they're, uh, they're gonna flash the same. They're on different sides of the truck, so it don't matter. Uh, I think I'd rather have them synced up. Um, but uh, anyway, the, they got all kinds of patterns. You can change the patterns to whatever you want. Uh, I think this is the pattern I'm going to go with. But what's cool about the, the super takedown scepters is um, there's, a, there's a green wire coming out of it. And if you touch that uh, to power, and if I can get them both touched, you touch them to power, this is what I'm talking about. If you don't need the amber strobe, you can get some uh, perimeter lighting going on. And it overrides the, it overrides the uh, strobe, or actually you can run it by itself. Uh, I'm going to have a separate switch on this, so I'll be able to turn that on, um, you know, whenever I want. So... That's pretty much it guys uh, for the lighting show. Um, I kind of wanted to go through all this stuff uh, so I wasn't doing all this during the install. The install is just going to be the install. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of uh, showing of, of, of the lights. I'm just going to install them. So stay tuned guys for the install video on uh, my truck here. My 2009 Silverado 2500 HD. Um, all the lights I showed you are going to be installed uh, one by one and I'll show you how I do it.